but I'ma bust that plug anyway. I don't turn money down any day. I don't got no job, I work the stain. Bro, I ain't got no job, you work the stain. Back in high school, I will work the pit. Welcome back to another makeup tutorial. Today I have this smoky glitter look. Yeah, it's super simple. All you have to do is a basic smoky eye um, and add glitter, that's it. This is so good for a night out because from afar it looks like you have a smoky eye and then when you come close, you see that you have purple glitter and it's a dark purple glitter. So it's just really, really pretty. If you're a stripper, this looks amazing on stage with the lights because you see how the reflection makes it look pink? And then when you're off the lights, it looks purple. So it's like you're wearing two looks at once. It looks pink on lights. And with no lights, it looks super dark and midnight-ish purple. I hope you guys try this out because it's super simple. And the glitter that I'm using is available everywhere at your local Ulta beauty supply store. It's so cheap, like one, two dollars. And that glitter takes your makeup look to the next fucking level. I am going to insert footage of me without these lights so you guys can get another perspective of this eyeshadow look so if you want to know how to get this stay watching this video if not you can click the fuck out i really don't give a fuck <laughs> if you want this look also to all the dark skinned beautiful women that watch me i've seen a few comments saying i wish i could try this but it does not look good on my colored skin are you kidding me dark skin looks beautiful with bright colored eyeshadows go out of your comfort zone it's 2018 this is your year do whatever the fuck you want to do i think bright neon makeup looks look amazing on dark skinned people because it shows up even more bright neon looks pop up more and look better on dark skinned people so i don't know what you girls are talking about all that melanin girl like i love artists like bryson tiller and other rappers that have women of color from all shades, sizes, and shapes. For a while, I was like, why is my cheek breaking out constantly? I clean my sheets every single week. The reasons why I'm breaking out is because I love soda. I do like drinking Perrier and other substitutes that kind of act like soda, but you know, sometimes you just want that fucking sweet, fizzy drink in your mouth. Another reason, junk food. I eat junk food sometimes. I don't have time to cook. I just go and grab something quick. And I hate that there's no healthy food options that are fast food. I mean, there is Waba Girl, Flame Broiler, Chipotle, but I need more options. Another thing is I always have this side of my hair touching my face constantly. But look, it's hella breaking me out and that's bad. When I sleep at night, I don't braid my hair. So my hair is like this in the middle of the night. All of the oils from my hair are fucking up all of my skin, you know? And because I do have endometriosis, I break out bad when I have my period. I was like, what the fuck is breaking me out? So now I know, soda, junk food, and my hair in my face. Anyways, that was a long ass lecture about pimples. But okay, concealer, damn. I am using the Ruby Kisses CC Concealer Corrector. Y'all, this is definitely a fucking dupe for the Bare Minerals $22 ass concealer. And this is not how it comes, okay? This is the wand to the Bare Minerals Concealer because this shit, I don't like how they package this. Ruby Kisses, y'all need to repackage this concealer because it's the tapa que le pusieron, it sucks. So I had to do that. It diffuses any imperfections. Another concealer that I really been fucking with 
is the Milani concealer. Oh my gosh, why nobody tell me about that shit? Look it, I went ham on the fucking bottle to get more. And this is called the Milani Retouch and Erase. And I love it because it's perfect if you only wear concealer. That Milani concealer is a dupe for the Bare Minerals, but it's a little more matte. So it's perfect for all of you girls that are oily. Get that shit. The only downfall is the quantity they give you. Like fuck, y'all stingy motherfuckers. Like put some more concealer in that bitch. I'm paying almost $10. I need a new Real Techniques beauty sponge. I go through these like no one's business because I literally beat my fucking, like I beat my face, you know? And I hella wash my beauty blenders till they bleed. Like I literally go in, ham, I clean them and that's why they fuck up so bad. I don't want any bacteria on my sponges because I do break out. So this is perfect. You can get this at Dollar Tree, Target, anywhere. It's super cheap. It's like 98, 95 cents. Walmart has it for like, 90 cents it has moisturizers in here that gently clean and protect so i need this to be moisturized as well not super dry and it's antibacterial so you know fuck i have a pimple here you got me fucked up yo i need to stop drinking soda for real for real mm -mm -mm. I am going in with foundation to this half of my face. That's just how I like to do it because I like to cover my brows in foundation. Like I said before, I don't know how beauty gurus do their eyebrows first. Like, no girl, what the fuck is he doing? <gasps> no! Ah, this is a must. I always need a damp towel with me at all times when I do my makeup. And this is from Dollar Tree. And these are towel tablets that you run under hot water and they expand into a beautiful towel. And this is what I use to clean my brushes, clean up mistakes that my dumbass does and shit like that. I look like a fucking ghost, bitch. <laughs> myself a backwood with some green crack I love me some sativas um, this is one of my favorite strains amongst plenty of other ones let's like this bitch so I just love the taste of backwoods and hold on let me, let me like this shit because I've been talking too much like shut the fuck up When you hit the back when it hits you back. What was I saying before I hit this? You see, it just doesn't even matter no more. Like when you hit the blunt, just nothing matters no more. Ooh. I fucking love these permanent press Belux Pearl Fusion Shadows. Fuck, that's a long ass name. But to make it short, this shit is bomb, bitch. Yeah, wet to dry, so everything's better when it's wet, you feel me? It's just how it is. Get out of bed. So just blend the fuck out of this. Oh, 
Sometimes I just like ignorant rappers. I'm heavy shit, need to stop it. Little bum, the freshest nigga coming out my city. Jump, hit AFDs, and I'm going straight. Ooh, Lane Perico nasty. Dude, I love her. She was so sweet. She gave me a shout out in her No Jumper interview. She did not have to talk about my dumb ass, but she did. She was so nice. Hey, you mentioned uh, like watching makeup tutorials and shit like that. Do you have any like uh, girl YouTubers that you fuck with hard that you watch their videos and stuff? Yes, I like She's Lulu. Mm -hmm. I like Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star. I like him. His videos are funny. I watched the video of him doing his boyfriend's makeup. Dang, like racist. He did have a thing. Yeah. So I guess you're right. <laughs> let's let's just let's excommunicate him. <laughs> Black girls be like. <laughs> <laughs> no, girl, he's racist. I'm not with that. Okay, good. Um, yeah. Jeffree Star is extra. Girls are on Netflix and watching makeup tutorials. And if your favorite makeup artist plays some shit, you're gonna go hear it. She's Lulu play popping, and I love her makeup. Like mm -hmm. I love her tutorials, and I was like, y'all, that should go crazy. And then Beat My Face came out, and I felt like that did a lot because in these Twitter beefs, like don't get me wrong, people be coming for your neck, but the niggas not gonna go for you the way the bitches go for you. Bitches be gone, like they be like, oh. Let me play her new song. That shit slaps, bro. I like how aggressive she is. <laughs> Okay, so I heard that people be getting jumped at events. That is not cool, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing with your life? If people online trigger you, don't be online. Don't be online, bro. Like, this is entertainment. I'm, not, I'm speaking for myself. I'm speaking for myself, right? But I'm just saying, like, people get offended, bro. Like, I tweet. I need to chill. I need to chill because some people get so offended over my tweets. And I'm just like, it's Twitter, bro. Like, chill, you know? Nah, dude, like, if you have the audacity to pull up to an event, pay to go in, and they're not fucking cheap, let me tell you, okay? They're like fucking 85 bucks. And you're gonna pay that money to go jump somebody? Like, nah. You need Jesus. You need meditation. You need weed. You need OG. Like, you smoking on some crap. I mean, I'm just saying, other people have done worse shit, and they have not been jumped or nothing. Like, to be getting my hair done. Be getting my makeup done. Beautiful dress. I wore a size 34 wedding dress. I now weigh 173 pounds and I will be wearing a size 10 down. It makes me so happy that I chose to change my life and I chose to lose the weight. Damn, dude, it's crazy how much. All my hard work. 100 pounds changes you. Like, you look so different when you lose weight. Bitch, that is a sign from Jesus. Damn, that music. So I'll just clean up this. Sometimes I go like that. So you could, you know, do whatever you want there. Okay, and now for the fun part, glitter. I am using the J-Cat sparkling powders and these are safe for the eyes. The blue glitter I mentioned in a past tutorial, that was not safe for the eyes. That can literally slice your fucking eyeball. People in the comments were leaving some tragic stories of testimonials with people with their retina like fucked up. I'm like, oh shit, I did not know that, but you know what? I still look fucking bomb, you feel me? But we're not gonna, it's 2018, it's time to respect women, drink water, stay healthy, stay safe. So JCAT, safe for the eyes, sparkling powder. And I am using the NYX glitter primer, which is very problematic to me because what, primer, like what do you mean primer? I need a glitter glue. Like, is this not, what the fuck? Glitter primer. But is it a glue though? Like, I need glue, you feel me? Because this does have a slight tint to it. And 
I guess it's good because you can see where you're outlining, you feel me? Like, it's not white, but it has this, like, peachy shade, kind of. So, mapping out my crease. I'm so happy I did not smoke backwoods in high school because if I did, I'd sound like a man right now. Backwoods change your voice. I don't care what anyone says. They're bad for you. You know, like that shit really fucks up your lungs, but they're so bomb. That actually looks so ugly. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Okay, and for my contour, I use this Kiss. New York Ultimate Cover Stick Foundation. I think using foundations for your contour is the best option because they blend so well. I've tried so many contour techniques and I always, always go back to and love using foundation for my contour and you use a shade darker, obviously. This one is not the exact shade that I would want, but hey, I got it online, so when you shop online, it's pretty hard to know what your shade is, you know? It's a lot of trial and error with shopping online. But hey, it's better than dealing with rude-ass bitches from fucking Sephora, MAC, and like all this shit. I believe it. I was in the trenches, kicks red, but I don't want to play it. And on to the brows that take the longest. I know there's a trend going on where you let your uni brow grow out. Dude, these girls that do that look so nice. Like it goes with their aesthetic. Like it looks beautiful. Like Frida Kahlo used to have her uni brow, you know? But I can't do that, y'all. Like people are really used to that. I know a lot of girls that let their underarm hair grow out as a feminism movement which i think is dope as fuck you know because why do we have to shave and keep up and men don't it's just like shit like that you know a lot of celebrities do it too pubic hair as well back in the 70s 60s pubic hair was a thing you would let it grow out you know and even in movies that was like the thing you know having hair and now it's so gross to some guys which is stupid like if you're gonna stop by shit like that it's like boy grow the fuck up when i wax i have to let the next cycle grow out so i do that i wax and then you have to wait for your hair to grow again till it's like as long as a grain of rice which is pretty long so it you know the wax can adhere to the hair i did that when i was living at my parents and my brother walked in on me and that was a nightmare, bro. Like, that was traumatizing on so many levels. And I'm embarrassed because of that. But, yeah, like, people can't take that. That's just nasty, you know? Like, now in today's society, it's nasty. And that's why these girls want to bring that back. Like, female hair is okay, you feel me? But, nah, like, I'm trying to fucking laser all my hair off. I don't give a fuck. Like, I want to laser everything off. Anyways, all right. Time to set the face. I am using this Wuchi powder. Kind of like Kuchi, but Wuchi. Why Wuchi? Who knows? This is a light touch powder, colorless powder. <laughs> and I got this on Halloween at a Halloween store. It is so good. It does not have flashback or shit like that. And it feels so good when you put your finger in it. It feels like you're not touching anything. Like, I don't feel like nothing's in there. That's crazy. And it is called Light Touch Powder. And I think this is very similar to the RCMA makeup powder because that powder... Oh, Because that powder is theater makeup, right? RCMA is theater makeup, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so as for my lashes, these are the new Bouncem Russian Black. I placed an order with this company and they gave me the wrong lashes. So I sent them an email. Well, they were like, sent us a picture and I was like, why? They all sent me the wrong ones. I thought I mean. 
like if they needed a picture I should have sent a picture but I was busy and I couldn't I didn't even have the lashes with me so I never got around to it but hey they sent over more lashes so thank you for that I don't have a code I don't have a code with them they're not like working with me but they sent over extra ones because I got the wrong ones thank you I appreciate that so much I got Bombay these are nice natural like every day and then we have Bella a very dramatic like damn but I think it's a puerco my dad and my mom will say like fuck that's so extra but it looks so nice obviously when you have dramatic glam looks like that's your go-to and Russian black this is what I have on Bella is very dramatic if I apply Bella you can't see the gradient effect in my smoky eye and with Russian black it's nice you can see it but it doesn't overpower the makeup look, you know? So you can still see through your blend, you feel me? Does that make sense? Russian black is my favorite. I wish I had a coupon code. I do not have one. You can go find one. All these girls get sponsored by them on YouTube, so I'm pretty sure you can find like 20,000. But not here, bitch. Not on my channel, I'm sorry. Y'all just come for shit and y'all never leave with nothing, huh? I'm so bad. All right, my dilemma with glue, eyelash glue, is I buy clear glue, but you can still see that. You can see the glare. And everyone's like, apply shadow, so there's no flashback. But it's like, do I really have to do all that? The Daiso clear glue, that shit's clearer than a motherfucker. And you can't see it. I love it. But it burns your fucking eyes off. Like, why Daiso fix your formula, por favor? I got this Kiss Strip Lash Glue with Aloe Vera. I fucking hate this type of glue. Say, guy on your leggings, it ruins them forever. It's so annoying. This one is super strong. Like, this shit won't come off for nothing. Which is kind of bad, too, because when you try to take them off at the end of the day, you pull even more. So, fuck the Aloe part. Like, if you're not riding fucking four wheelers, and shit and you're not in the dust like you don't need this glue this is for bitches that are like in the navy or some shit <laughs> i don't know but this shit is strong oh when you're at the club you know it's hot in there this might be a good option but for daily use no too strong personally personally okay i like my natural lashes i do not want to fuck them up why is it that guys have nice lashes long as fuck too like why are y'all blessed like it's so hard being a woman we give birth we go through that pain we have cramps we go through that pain we are forced to meet unrealistic beauty expectations every single day it's just it's hard being a woman everywhere in life in the rap industry in the entertainment industry <laughs> Purple in the middle. 2018, I'm trying not to overline. Cause what the fuck was I thinking? I was looking at some of my pictures and I was just like, girl, chill. Like I still do a little bit, but not a whole lot of it, you feel me? Honestly, I hate waking up sometimes. I just wish I could just die in my sleep, you feel me? <laughs> City color inner rim auto eyeliner. I fuck with this hard. I love the shade of it. It's not a tacky white, and I like it more than the NYX Wonder pencil. This is like the shade of your skin, literally. So, and it's so cheap. It's around one, two dollars because I know the NYX Wonder pencil could be up to like seven bucks. Mm. Why do we open our mouths? Like it does nothing. Like. My eyes are moving. Why would why? Latinos are taking over the fucking world, you guys. Make sure you guys really blend your highlight, go under here to create that illusion, you know? So you could just do this. No, blend it out, all the way up here. 
fucking glue you see i don't have to work this hard to cover up fucking clear glue oh seriously guys this is not cool